Greetings, one and all, from Kit Kat and me. Oof! About, it weighs about 15, 50 times what. Okay, okay. Ready, Oof, glory. Okay, okay. All right then. <laughs> and then this is Sage, of course. Oh, shame. All right, he doesn't like that much being in confines. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. Goodness me. Like the little kittens are such a threat. Anyway, it's his mood today. He's up, working up grumpy, of course. So, uh, anyway, we're going to complete our piece today. And let us... Let us have at it, shall we? All right. I think I'm going to start with some uh, acrylic. And of course, Sage is going to be present. Yeah, Kit Kat is just being picked up. He, he's okay when he's free to move around, but as soon as I pick him up, he's now feeling now threat, under threat or something like that. I don't know what it is. He still hasn't quite become completely accustomed to these little these little mites. Finn is, is still in her basket, um, and she, yeah, so she will sleep throughout the proceedings, be fed and all of that. So I'm just going to carry on. Um, Sage, me with paint on my fingers is going to be a little bit of a problem, I think. Mm, so you're going to have to just go down for now and find something else to do while I, while I do this. Um, so, toothbrush. Um, toothbrush, toothbrush. Okay. Right, so I really want to confine this. No, Sage. Come on. You know what? Um, I actually, you know what? I actually just want to wait a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Because I want to do some more. Ow! Shh. Eh. Those little, those little uh, grappling, grappling hooks are quite something. I want to do a little bit more work here in the background first. Some soft stuff. If I may, Sage, just give me a bit of a breather for a while. I really didn't expect Kit Kat to react that way, but... It'll take a while to acclimatize properly to these little. He has been. He has been, pretty much on his own with me for the last eight years, and then obviously nine years with with his brother Tigger. But uh, with these two little ones coming in, he's 
obviously it still will take a while to to integrate that is how it works obviously <laughs> So he wasn't in the mood for saying hello this morning. That's for sure. Very much didn't like that. Oh well. What can you do? Can't please everyone. So I'm just doing some line work here. With uh, a dark sort of a lilac and a, and a pale blue. It's funny, it's funny as well because uh, because KitKat is most comfortable with with sage, um, and they kind of do play together. I just suppose it was the the confines of being restricted, and and his little mind said, "Hell no." <laughs> oh well. Sage wants to do is play. Uh, Kit Kat's an old, old fuddy duddy. Hey, hey Sage, he's just a grumpy old man. No, please, you're not going up there. You, you can't catch this. You can't catch the charcoal. Just let it be. Ah. Right, let's just leave that be. Come on now. Come on now. Just sit. Oh, okay, now I'm going to be using my... I'm going to be using my paint now. So, best you just keep your distance for the time being. Put that down as well, just for safeguard. Okay, so for now, let's just do one more little little daub. Uh, 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 sage, no, just wait. Okay. 
Oh, good lord, come on. I just need to get my... Right. And now you see, I need to work with a little bit of my pellet knife. Just give me a moment, Sage. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I work quite roughly with this, with this, with this, with this piece. I don't try to, I'm not trying to create realism. I'm not trying to create very precise rendering of, of this. And I want to, basically what I'm going for is something that's representative of this scene that that depicts the mood the emotiveness the story <clears throat> So somebody was asking yesterday, um, and I didn't reply, forgive me, <laughs> um, yet, to post a picture of, uh, of Sage. Well, here she is. <laughs> there she is. There's a picture. Grab a screenshot. <laughs> I post loads and loads and loads of pictures on Facebook, so you're welcome to, to send me a friend request there, and I'll happily... I'll happily, you'll happily be able to see um, lots of pictures of Sage and Finn, of course. Right, my old, trusty old paintbrush. Let's just get some. Quite an avid little student, this sage, isn't she? Quite attentive. So I just want to daub the paint on with this this old brush. It's it's an it's it's got very, it's past its sell-by date, but in actual fact, 
in retirement it actually works perfectly. As we know of many of the old timers, they work probably better than the and the young ones <laughs> in retirement. <laughs> Man, there's nothing I detest more than something that bangs and rattles. Right, that's that's looking like it's a okay. So what will happen once this begins to dry is that it will it will pick up with the on the uh, uh, the pastel will work really nicely over this rough. Uh, over the roughness of the uh, acrylic. So I just are sitting here watching every move I make. <coughs> Aren't you? The important thing that, that I need to remember or always with with working like this um, is that I need to let go of having to control the outcome. It doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, in its it decides in and of its own how it wants to apply itself, and, and I just let the results happen not by design and nine times out of ten 
subtract 9.9 .9 times out of 10, uh, the results are better than I than than I had originally anticipated they might be. I'm far happy with a with a much more organic approach to to the outcome. Not so, little, little, little sage. You would make a very good student, you know that? Sitting here watching everything and listening to every word. So keen to get involved. Um, <laughs> keen to make a mark. Mm -hmm. Now I can let that dry for a while and continue my work down the bottom here. Let's let's work with some some uh, Conte crown. Mm. So I'm just going to go over this whole area now with with Conte. white conte just creating some quite fine lines and I'm going to be doing the same with my white chalk pastel as well no sage no 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 don't be going fighting no not on So I just <clears throat> essentially twirl the, it's a square profile um, stick um, and it, uh, stop it with those talons, goodness me, leave me alone. <clears throat> um, so I roll it around in my fingers and as I do so, the line that it produces is, is kind of uh, jiggly, there's a new word. And of course, it's it's a much harder consistency composition than uh, than pastel, this uh, Conte. So it uh, it doesn't it doesn't leave such a distinct line. It's a little bit more subtle. And it's exactly what I need for this part of the job. Say so you were much better when you were watching what I was doing. So pay attention to what's going on here rather than my fingers. Right. 
Right, now I'm going to use my white chalk pastel in the same way, but now creating more distinct lines. So I'm consequently being a lot more gentle with my, with my touch here. And of course now where the pastel, the chalk pastel meets the, uh, where I've sprayed with, uh, with the toothbrush some acrylic, now the white becomes more intense, the white of the pastel becomes more intense, which is great. So it gives me that lovely depth even in white. Also now bringing a little bit of contrast with my charcoal. Darker bits. Just 
punches out this wave a little bit more. And then just softening it with my finger so it isn't quite as quite as dark. And of course it's very compliant with that. How are we doing for time? Oh me, oh my, did I even set the damn time again? You see I ah yeah. <laughs> uh, forgetful when I'm trying to when I'm trying to uh, get the cattle in line as I start the session and then I forget to set set the timer properly By rights, I should have just under half an hour left. I don't know. <laughs> you'll see by the you'll see by the, uh, the, the the timer count on your video whether I'm correct or not. <laughs> uh, dear me. You see, if I was live, I could ask, actually, actually ask someone to tell me what the time was and how much time I've got left to complete the hour. Anyway, not, not, not to be at this point. Anyway, I need, I need a, I need a thousand people. I need a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel in order to in order to be able to go live, I think. Well, I certainly need a thousand subscribers in order to be able to monetize this channel. Um, so let's start building, shall we? I've got 90 people so far, 90, and that's not bad for not much, if any, marketing of this other than just a little bit on Facebook and, you know, what have you. So I'm quite proud of myself there. Uh, but it would be nice to get to get this channel going quite nicely. So please invite some friends if you're listening. If you're new, welcome. Um, and please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notifications of my my every my every and every consistent upload.
a bit more shading in this section over here. So I like my pieces to be very loose and uncontrolled. I find the results are always quite startling if I if I do relinquish that that part of myself that wants to that wants to design. Um, everything by design um, and that was and that obviously comes from a background in graphic design commercial art whatever you want to call it uh, where the where the goal the design from start to finish is very intentionalized and it has to be that way. So here with this and with more fine art type of type of work, you need to I need to let go of that of having to have that that final say. In perfection and in, 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 in accuracy and all of that there's no accuracy in this and that's what I that's what I have been my journey with with especially with regards to uh, the uh, this lockdown my artsy lockdown sessions um, has been about that it really has uh, it's been about letting go enough and I and I believe to a, to a large degree I have managed to achieve that which I'm very stoked about very stoked indeed so even though there's always room for for improvement and learning by and large, I'm getting there. Just allowing the artwork to to create itself. That's all that's important. That's what makes it fun as well not having not having the pressure of having to control then it's I, or I, I get Loads of surprises and very pleasant ones too. Right, let's do some lilac doesn't want to be left out apparently, so
So colors will call me um, that needs to be expressed. And the, let, the part of the letting go is actually heeding that call. Just, just, a, and it's, and it's, it's not a call as in, you know, sending a message. It's, it's a, it's just a, a feeling that develops, an intuition that develops. And the color shows up and wants to, wants to be, to be used in some way and, and, uh, and then I let it. I just allow it to, to. To express itself, itself for as long as it needs to express itself. And there's another color that needs to be expressed as well. And this is a kind of a kind of a indigo indigo into violet. just in this deeper shadow area and it's going to be followed by some some green apparently some deep uh, deep almost olive green where is that there you are now oh, that's it that's it that gives that lovely form perspective, um, dimensionality. I can't remove this cloth from my lap now because I've got sage sitting in the pouch, sleeping. But you're not sleeping, you're just watching me, aren't you? With blotches of charcoal on your face. Back to my charcoal again, so see now it becomes you see I've got this very where where I've used my paint and a little bit of the spray with the toothbrush. Um, I've now got this very rough and abrasive texture. So uh the past, both the pastels and the charcoal apply differently. So you get an interesting effect, and it's and this is just trial and error. I'm just going with the flow, whatever needs, whatever calls itself forth. I'm just running with it. That's part of the expression. side so I think what's happened here is is that the addition of this of this flow of of more white um, has 
just taken the edge off this stark wave form like a like a big sort of uh, sea cucumber in the middle here um, and it's just it's just allowed the composition to speak a little more so uh, it's not all about that wave there there's lots of other little nuances that are taking place here and, uh, and I'll spend the last sort of 15 minutes 10 minutes maybe <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I'll spend the last few minutes um, just working up these little nuances. Uh, so that we've got many areas of interest, but this is the focal point over here of the entire piece because it's got this, this kind of glowing almost backlit uh, sage part of the wave that's that's come semi-translucent and you know so you've got lots of uh, refraction going on here not so much in the foreground so therefore i need more a little bit more contrast down here And also, still enhancing this, this, this form over here, um, as the, as the wave, as the water surges this way and that. You'll see this. So this wave almost is going, in, in. In an arc. So it's, not, not only is it coming this way, the whole wave is, is supposedly going that way, but this one, this part here is kind of coming this way at us. So, uh, and this is, the, this is the dynamics of the ocean. It's not predictable. Uh, it depends on the, the seabed in terms of the, the currents that influence these waveforms, etc. So it doesn't necessarily always just come straight inwards it, it just it can be it can it can bop and jive and go in many different directions all at the same time interesting about about surfing is that and I stand corrected but it's one of the well anyway those sort of those sort of water sports which involve um, in, involve waves um, and you, you because you're traveling in, in three in three directions at the same time you're traveling forward you're traveling along and you're traveling down so as the wave as the wave comes forward you on your surfboard are, are following the wave the waves progress you're uh, more than likely traveling along the wave and and also you're you're traveling down the wave and that's how you get your momentum um, I'm sure so, I'm sure I'm not a surfer but I'm sure you guys who are will obviously have long since comprehended that little observation Time for a bit more 
of this uh, Pale, pale blue I'm using here now. <clears throat> Which really just comes out as a, almost as an off-white in this, when it, when it blends with the other, the other blues and greens and so on. little bit of this pigment green as you know I like to just call colors what I feel that they are not necessarily what their actual name is I don't know what the names are I get I get muddled with things like top and, and cerulean and whatever vermilion I don't know you know all these different I just call it what I think it is, what it feels like. So, peppermint green is what this one is. Right, a little bit more line work with white. Just some little, little spidery trails that of, of, of perhaps foam and bubbles that, that, that kind of are pulled up to the surface of this wave. A little bit more detail there. Just a little bit. And of course, I'll, I'll post up the final image of this piece on Facebook and on Instagram. So please, if, you, if, you, if you're not following me on either of those platforms, you're welcome to do so. Um, send me a friend request or just follow me on, on Instagram. Give me a friend request on Facebook and you'll see 
all the other stuff that goes with it. So I, 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 I post daily progress. I post perhaps nauseatingly too many pictures of sage and Finn and Kit Kat. It's my thing. <laughs> Other people post their kids. Don't have any kids. So there you go. Suck it up, buttercup. So yes, you're welcome to send me a friend, uh, a friend request. And, and, and always feel free to engage with me, ask any questions that you might have, anything of that nature, and I will happily, happily answer. Right, I'm going to give myself another two minutes with this. And I may be well over time, I don't know. I may be within time. I can't say, but I don't know. It does, however, come a time when you're done, and that is now. Uh, okay. What colors to sign with? What color to sign with? What colors? What colors coming forth? Um, this is green. Okay, let's sign off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Twenty, twenty two. Done. Right, there we go, folks. Um, we're done, and I hope you've enjoyed the process. Those of you who have been with me all along, oh, goodness, we are so tired. <laughs> um, yes, so thanks for, thanks for being with me thanks for being a part of my journey and uh, thanks for your support and comments and shares and all that sort of thing so uh, yes um, I bid you oodles and oodles of toodles and be good, be kind, be gentle be caring, be loving etc etc um and see you again next week. I'm not sure what I'll be doing yet. Um, I haven't obviously decided. I shall do so over the weekend. So have a fabulous weekend yourselves. And catch you again next time. If I can get up here, little sage. And say goodbye to everyone. All right. Take care, folks. See you next time. Don't forget to doodle. <laughs>